Hi everyone, this is Sena. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm finally trying out the Artemis Beauty's on cover up concealers. Hope you like this video. So, I tried the curly hair method today and I think I was successful, but today we are talking about this, not my hair. I am finally trying these out. I really have high hopes because I had the best shopping experience at Blue Mercury in New York and the sales lady that was helping me, she was so lovely. Um, she was really guiding me through this brand. I kind of regret that I didn't pick up more from RMS Beauty, but I'm leaving some for my next trip. I'm opening the double zero one, which is this. I also got the triple zero one, which is this. I'll show you the triple zero one. Oh, so light. So I'll directly try it on my face. And this is a new purchase from Zara. You should check it out. It's beautiful. Mm. Yeah. This is zero, zero, zero. I just wanted to show you side by side. This is zero, 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 and this is double zero. Both are really light. I'll also try the darker one. It's beautiful. It's really light. You can see how concealing this is. See this red area? It's good. I'll try to blend this with this MAC 130. But right now I'm showing you the double zero on my forehead. Years ago, I saw Lisa Adrich using these. I will hydrate my lips. You can see how shiny it is. So for me, this is not a summer product, but I might just grab this and go for my winter vacations. Let's see how it performs as a base for my eyeshadow. I was planning to use this, but I do not really need that now. Before powder, I want to use this Shape Shifter palette from Urban Decay that I bought years ago. And I've only tried this. I think I don't think I've used this. So I want to give the contour shade a try today. I will use this contour shade. This is the contour shade blended. I like how this looks. Mm, mm. Mm, give me cheekbones. Mm. Another thing about this palette is that this is really well made. Like, it's it's durable. I'll use Huda's Pound Cake. Um, this is one of my favorite brushes from Smashbox. It's for highlighting, but I'll use powder with this. I'll use Rare Beauty's brush. I might use the MAC palette for my under eyes. I'll use my old Givenchy powder in 01. I love how light it is. I'm using an old Scott Barnes powder brush. My all time favorite face products are from Givenchy because I've used the only product I do not really like is their, um, I think it's called something like Mr. Light. I didn't enjoy that product, but I always love their foundations and um, their bronzers. I love how soft the color is, even though I'm packing my brush with product. Okay. It's easy for me to do makeup with light colors. Okay, are we ready? I'm using a 10 year old blush from Scott Barnes again. This is a really, really, really old blush from Scott Barnes. Tick, 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 and it was my favorite shade ever. I felt like, well, makeup doesn't really have an expiration date. So I want to use my old products. I mean, just for blush and some powders, you know. Did you see the color? How beautiful that is. 
I want to buy everything he launches, but I have to ship it to my friend's house and I cannot really ship it to my country, which is like really difficult for me to deal with. I don't want to be asking my friends all the time for like tracking my shipments. I'm happy today, aren't I? <laughs> I'm just applying my Sisley bronzer as a shadow. I don't think that this is my shade. This really leans towards red. So I'm using it as an eyeshadow. You know, I like blending colors easily. So I'm using a dense um, concealer brush from Real Techniques. This is a good brush. I'll apply this one size fantasize. This is one size fantasize with just one coat. I have a very old Laura Mercier color on my lips. See the difference? So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in my coming videos.